information. Hi, I'm Suzanne Cantro, founder of Techlicious.com. If you have an older BRG router, it's certainly worth the time it takes to upgrade to a new wireless end router. First, it's much faster than existing routers, and second, the range is far greater. That means you can get great coverage throughout your house and even out your lawn or patio. Installing a new router isn't nearly as daunting as you might expect. Here's what you're going to need. Your main computer, the modem that came from your internet service provider, your new wireless end router, and a couple of ethernet cables. The first thing you should do is install the software that comes with the router. This ensures that we are connecting everything, all that works properly. After you put your disk in your computer, follow the on-screen prompts. At some point, you're going to connect your modem to your computer. After that's done, you're going to disconnect the modem from your computer and plug it into your router. There's a specific port where you're going to put it in, and this router is clearly labeled Internet. Plug it in, and you're ready to go. The next step is to make sure you change the router's name from the factory default to a name you choose. This is especially important if you live in a densely populated area. It helps to keep others from trying to gain access to your internet connection. The next thing you'll want to do is to enable the router's built-in security. Again, using the included software, follow the on-screen prompts to turn on security and set the security key. You can choose from WEP or Wired Equivalency Privacy and WPA or Wi-Fi Protected Access. I would suggest using WEP if you have older wireless products connecting to your network. But if everything you use is more up-to-date and supports WPA, choose WPA, which is the most secure option. Be sure to make a note of your key or passcode for installing new wireless devices. And if you use the same router name and security key as your old wireless network, most devices should transition seamlessly. Once your router is set up, your wireless devices should find it automatically. If one doesn't, try restarting it. And if that doesn't work, you're going to have to connect it manually. To connect a device manually, you'll need the name of your network, the type of security key, your security key, and the instruction manual for your device. If you don't have the manual, you can usually find it on Retrievo.com. If not, then look for the Setup or Settings option, and then look for Network or Wireless Setup, and follow the instructions.